Hi, Eric Gibo, EricGibo.com, and today I look like a kid that has received this uh, birthday present, his gift. Uh, could be like the, my little chemist or something like this, okay? Well, no, I'm not playing, I'm trying, well, I'm play, not playing, well, I'm trying uh, to make pictures of, uh, splash pictures with uh, liquids, okay? So I'm going to show you this kit by Miops, the splash kit, okay? And tell you how it works and show you some results uh, I've obtained. Let's start. Well, this video is, uh, I've got a guilty person for that. This is uh, Gregory Audubert, who has a YouTube channel. And I met him in France and he saw me pictures he made with this. I said, oh, splash picture, that's great. I would love to present that on my YouTube channel. So I contacted Miops, uh, the maker of, of this uh, gear, this uh, mechanism, I don't know if you can call that, this splash system. And really nicely, they sent it to me straight away. And I really apologize because it was really delayed for me uh, to present it. Why? Basically because uh, I need a lot of space not to use it, but really to record the video. So it was complicated for me because usually I uh, record outdoor or uh, in my car or in my uh, my vans. It was a bit more complicated, okay? But finally I got everything together so I could uh, record, okay? So uh, many people are like amazed when they see a splash picture they think it's fantastic and they think maybe it's easy or complicated okay uh, it's really hard to uh, time exactly when to uh, trigger your camera so this is where this uh, appears with this system which is fantastic because you will trigger the uh, camera or the flash exactly when the drop is uh, when you want the, the drop to be captured you have a map here okay as you can see the uh, drop it just falling right now okay so uh, I'm going to explain how this works obviously uh, you should work in the completely dark uh, it's better so uh, I cannot uh, record in complete dark darkness obviously so uh, I will show you the result I've made but I show you right now how this works okay I had a difficult time making this video because of organization so well no obligation but please if you have not done it yet, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you very much. Let's carry on. So, 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 what do you get? Well, I received this box, okay? I'm not going to do an unboxing because it's everything is, uh, is set here, okay? So in there you get this, which is the flash uh, system, the, the splash system, I should say, sorry, splash. Here you have a tube for the liquid. Here you have uh, where the drop is uh, getting out. You get this special magic arm to, uh, Connect it properly to, to hold it properly. Then you get several cables. So in the back here uh, There are three connectors. I cannot show you because we've got it uh, mounted. Okay, but you have one is for uh, USB uh, micro USB for this cable the model before it was with some batteries and uh, Batteries could wear out, uh, wear out and you needed to change them. This one is a lot simpler. You have USB so you connect to your uh, phone charger and the good thing is uh, when battery, well, the bad thing of batteries is when it was going flat, it was not as regular, the dripping, okay? With this, it seems to be a lot more uh, regular for what I've read because I didn't have the, the other system before. Then you have two connectors, one goes to for camera and one goes for flash, okay? There are two ways of triggering, well, several, but one is, as I did, I've got this cable coming out of uh, the camera connector, goes to my camera, and uh, when I will trigger on the app, I'll show you right now, this will trigger my camera and I've got uh, here the remote control that will trigger my flash, okay? Another way is instead of connecting to your camera is to connect to your flash unit and then put your camera in bulb mode and this is actually uh, the, the, the lightning of the flash that will uh, freeze the action so you'll stop, okay? And that will capture the, 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 the picture. In both cases, it's recommended to be in complete dark. In the case of bulbs, you need to be in complete dark because any ambient light will be captured by your camera. So then it, be, it needs to be absolute dark. Even the, the screen of your uh, app could be a problem, okay? So I prefer to trigger my camera and uh, the camera to trigger the flash, okay? So I got, uh, I got this, okay? Here you have the tube where you actually put the liquid here. Really important when you feel it after don't press the tap, okay? Let it fall gently. This is, there's a hole in the center. This is to uh, balance uh, pressure in it. So it's important that you just feel and then you let it fall, uh, go down by itself. Otherwise water or liquid will go out of it, okay? 
and uh, the important thing is the app. Here I've put in my tablet, but I normally use it on my uh, my smartphone. And because uh, this is what will trigger, as you can see, that will trigger the drop. Uh, it can be several drop. We're going to see that, and very important will trigger the camera. Right now, the camera is switched off. Okay. So I think I didn't forget anything. So let's start. So I've connected my uh, here my uh, system my uh, splash to my camera and here i've got the trigger that uh, will trigger my flash my flash is westcott fj400 i picked it why because i've got several i could have used the fj200 because i wanted the freeze mode to have really short uh, lighting uh, really short okay here i've got my olympus my om system uh, om1 i used the uh, 400 to 150 millimeter uh, lens but Actually, I didn't make the picture this way. The picture, I had my camera on the other, where, where the, the iPhone is recording right now. So I was a bit too far. The idea was doing with uh, my macro lens, but the, the, the table is so large, it was uh, a bit too far, okay? But I could have set, now I think that I could have set it this way with my macro here, would that be fine, okay? You can use any lens, actually, okay? The idea is to have the setup this way, I'll just show you on the small manual that comes with it. On one side you have the camera, on the other side you have the flash, and in the center you have uh, the dripping system, the, the splash system, okay? Why uh, it's better to backlit the picture? Uh, why? Because uh, then the flash is, the light of flash is not reflected on the, on the drip, on the drops, on the dripping, on the drops, okay? But it goes through, so it gives a, like a see through, it's a lot nicer, it looks a lot better, okay? So it's important to have on each side, but you could use another lens, no problem, okay? You fill this with, uh, I put water, actually, you could put any kind of liquid or put some, uh, some color uh, pigments into your water to give different look. For me, uh, they said that if you use different uh, different liquid, you have different density, so uh, it's a bit uh, more difficult to control the size the, the size of the drop or this. It takes more time uh, to to get uh, ready for it because you, you test with water, and then if you change density is different. So I thought the easiest way was to use water, but to give a special color. I decided to use this uh, gels color gels on my flash. So this way, it completely colors uh, without complicating myself, okay? Obviously, you could do better, okay? So the first thing that is really hard to get is the first drop at the right time, okay? Uh, because uh, this triggers my camera. Okay, sorry. Uh, by the way, the, if the camera goes to sleep, uh, press once and that's it, okay? But the problem, you need to uh, trigger the camera and the flash exactly at the right time because uh, at, at the beginning, I uh, trigger and add uh, nothing. Why? Because the drop had not reached the frame of the picture yet. So it was all flat, nothing. Then I'd like some kind of wave. So it was really far too late. It was too late. So I could not, uh, uh, the, the drop had uh, bounced already and it was uh, not, mm, not visible anymore. Okay. So it takes time here. You have to decide on the app. You have to decide on the size of the drop. You have to decide uh, on the timing, all this. So here, first you're going to decide on the drop here. Then you decide, okay, select it. Then on the camera, if you trigger with flash or with camera, in my case, I trigger with a uh, camera, okay? And then you have to decide on the delay, okay? This number is really important because uh, this, is, uh, this is what is going to decide how long it takes uh, before the camera is triggered, okay? And then the flash, okay? It's really important. Uh, if it's too late, well, you will be just a wave. If it's too early, you see nothing. And if it's in the middle, then you see a drop that is falling, but it's not touching water yet. I recommend you fill the glass to the limit. I don't do it because I don't want to water everything here. Okay, so, uh, but while I'm recording, before I did, okay, this is why you should have some paper with you, okay? It's toilet paper. It could be kitchen paper also. So, uh, you fill to, uh, to the limit here so we'll you will really see when the when the drop is uh, bouncing on this water on this liquid okay so uh, it takes time to get exactly at the right time and this is maybe one of the main problem i had uh, you need to get some uh, some uh, like uh, frequency when you you if you wait too long maybe this feels too much and uh, the drop is too big okay 
or if you go too fast the water is not uh, calm yet uh, when the liquid is not calm yet and the bouncing is different it's really hard to really get exactly at the precise moment it takes time until you understand what's the right size of the drop what is the right uh, delay and everything it takes a bit of time okay so i made many pictures until i got it right but still i could not get two pictures of the same uh one after one impossible why because maybe this is not regular or maybe basically because if the water is not exactly flat exactly everything fine it will not bounce the same way so once you get your first drop you can be really happy get at the right timing as you want then you can complicate the story and you can add another drop with different size also a delay also everything same thing and this is the idea to have a uh, one drop bounces on the on the liquid and the second drop or third drop or many drops you want okay will crash into the first one and give this foie like this so it takes time to really get this right it took me uh, in total i made 467 pictures obviously it was the first time i was using it i think someone with experience will go a lot 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 faster obviously uh, i could have made maybe half of this picture once i had it but it was fun okay the only thing i can say is always different always different result result okay and i did the easy way i was using water because the big problem is let's say you want to fill this glass with a uh, white liquid it could be uh, milk it could be water with uh, a pigment in there and then maybe a red color in the tube here so obviously if you don't get it right this ends up uh, contaminated by the red color so you would throw everything away fill this again do it again until you get it right so it all depends but i recommend when you start practice easy as i did yeah just water and put a gel on your on your flash and that's it but this is really fun honestly this is really fun so now i'm going to give you a few more tips and more information a few tips uh, well uh, when you use your flash, put it at minimum power because uh, the shorter the power, the, the, the less the power, the shorter the lightning. Uh, this is important. Many people don't seem to know that when you have a 400 watt uh, second flash, uh, they think that uh, when you're on uh, off power, it sends 200 watt second, and you have quarter power 100 watt second. It doesn't work this way. It always sends 400 watt second. Okay. What happens? It sends it less or more time. It means a longer or shorter time. It means that when I'm on maximum power, the uh, lightning time is really long, so it will not really freeze the action. When I am on minimum power, it will really freeze the action. This is why I decided to use the Westcott FJ400. I could have used the, the FJ200 also. On minimum power, I've got the option to uh, the freeze mode. It gives me like uh, 1 16th, uh, 16,000 of a second so it really freezes action okay so this is really important uh, put at minimum power your flash okay second uh, my pictures uh, I think they have uh, too shallow depth of field so uh, on the the front part is fine the center also but then in the back the drop in the back the out of focus which is logical because it's really shallow depth of field I could have closed a bit more my uh, aperture in this case maybe I would have needed to put more power and freeze less so it's experience test to see what's the ideal uh, aperture to get uh, the distance also to get the perfect uh, depth of field uh, you want okay and the perfect freeze mode uh, perfect uh, yeah freezing okay depending on the power you use so it's just matter of testing and writing down everything you test okay second the focusing is a big problem because you cannot focus on a drop uh, once it's gone so while falling you cannot use autofocus so you need you need to do manual focus so there's an easy tip you get a ruler like this you place it here you let the drop fall and you make sure the drop parts in two it's better if you have a thinner ruler okay uh, that the drop parts in two when it's parts in two you know it sees exactly where the drop will fall so then you focus manually on the ruler and you leave it uh, in manual focus so this way you really get uh, the perfect uh, focusing okay so these are really the basic tips uh, is to do that you have minimum power to freeze the action manual focus on the ruler and uh, something don't forget to wake up your camera because sometimes uh, if you uh, don't uh, act like this it works now but sometimes add to uh, it like delayed too much uh, you don't see it on the picture but if you 
if you press the shutter just a bit, not as I did right now, I made a picture just like this, it will make sure the camera is ready. So uh, when uh, this triggers the camera, it's exactly in the right timing, okay? It takes a bit of trial and error, but it's really fun, honestly. Uh, it's important, they recommend you place this from uh, 25 centimeter. I, it's actually a bit lower here, so it feels in the frame for recording. 25 centimeter from the surface of uh, the liquid to uh, the, the here, the, 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 drip, the dripper, okay? It's important, so, uh, well, after you can change, depends on what you want to do, but to start, to get your first drop in, in, in place, start with what they recommend on the mount, okay? So, conclusion. Well, I think this is great. This is really fun. It takes a bit of time to organize yourself and uh, get this to work, all this. Uh, it's, I've never made any splash photography, any kind. Not even dripping from uh, from a tap, uh, from the tap in the kitchen. <laughs> never tried that either, okay? So, uh, I think it really helps to be able to do it. It takes time to really uh, time uh, exactly when it will fall and the size of the drop, all this takes time because I am uh, no experience, okay? I recommend you start with water, it's easier, and then you can put a color gel to give a special uh, look to, to your picture, and then you will start doing other things after, okay? But start knowing your gear first, okay? I think there is no limit to creativity with this, because I did just with water and a color gel, it already gives some uh, nice pictures, okay? But I think uh, people, if they just do that, maybe they will get bored, but I see incredible picture with made with this. They put different liquid, different colors. Uh, in the Canary Islands here in Tenerife, there is a, a coffee called uh, Barraquito, Barraquito, which is uh, you have uh, milk. Well, you have coffee, you have milk, you have uh, condensed milk. Then you have a uh, liqueur, and then you have cinnamon, and then you have a small bit of uh, lemon uh, skin. Okay. And this is really with uh, layers like this. So you could have a perfect drop that falls on it. Uh, it could be the liquor or coffee or whatever, and give a special look. So you can make like, incredible pictures like this. I've not done it because it's uh, I didn't have no time, but I think this is something I would like to try. And what's uh, fantastic is that no one will be able to copy your picture because uh, every picture is unique. Even yourself, you cannot repeat exactly the same picture. The, the idea, yes, but the same picture, no. So I think this is something that is completely recommendable. Uh, get to know it, uh, test it, different liquid, different density, uh, different colors, and that could really be fun and really creative. I think the only limit of this is your imagination or mine, okay, in my case, okay? So I think, yeah, it's completely, it's really fun. The only thing maybe it was a bit hard for me is that to, uh, that it was not always regular. Sometimes it didn't fall exactly at the same time uh, to one after one, uh, one drop after one. But after I realized that because uh, it's how fast you press or how long you wait, all this. But the more you make picture, the more uh, you will know the gear and the better it will come out, okay? So it's just a matter, matter of practice. So yes, I think this is completely recommendable. Thank you very much, uh, Miops, for sending me this gear. Sorry so much for uh, delaying uh, the review. It was uh, hard for me to uh, connect everything and uh, have time enough to uh, really do things well because I wanted to have a nice picture to show, okay? But, well, thank you so much. So, thank you to you for watching the video. If you feel it may interest other people, please share it on social networks. If you have not done it yet, please subscribe to my YouTube channel, small button down here, it's a small bell. If you click on the bell, get notified when I upload a new video. My website, ericgibo.com. If you have any questions, can leave a comment below. I'll also leave you links of money on Amazon, links of everything reviewed by Kev Concept, Sandmark, and flashes by Westcott, like this one, and also a link to my PayPal account in case you wanted to make a donation. Thank you very much. Please take care of yourself and see you soon. Bye. Mm -hmm.